Internally, Western Style forums organize visitors and logged in members into user groups. Privileges and rights are given based on these groups. A user of the forum can automatically be promoted to a more privileged user group based on criteria set by the administrator of the group. A person viewing a closed thread as a member will see a box saying he does not have the right to submit messages there, but a moderator will likely see the same box granting him access to more than just posting messages. An unregistered user of the same site is commonly known as a guest or a visitor. Guests are typically granted access to all functions that don't require database alterations or breach privacy. A guest can usually view the contents of the forum or use such features as read marking, but occasionally an administrator will disallow visitors to read their forum as an incentive to become a registered member. A person who is very frequently a visitor to a forum, a section or even a thread is referred to as a lurker and the habits referred to as lurking. Registered members often will refer to themselves as lurking in a particular location, which is to say they have no intention of participating in that section but enjoy reading the contributions to it. This is where we pick up with the public participating in forums. Many times the public will want to have more information on a particular topic such as how to price their home, which agent to pick, or even how to tell if an agent has been in a disciplinary action. With all of these topics, the public will not want nor typically need to become a member of the forum as access is already granted to read any and all posts. While the Division of Real Estate does not have an interactive user group section to its website, it has a wonderful newsletter that is available to all who come to the real estate section of the website. It can be found at www.realestate.utah.gov slash newsletters slash index.html. Make sure you select the new page flip version. It's very professional and has diversified information about real estate for agents and the public. Most of all, think of user groups as people like you who have similar interests, needs, and desires. You'll have fun and learn a lot. Let's take a little closer look at forums, who runs them, and how to navigate them. The moderators are users or employees of the forum who are granted access of the posts and threads of all members for the purpose of moderating discussion or similar to arbitration and also keeping the forum clean, that is neutralizing spam and spam bots, etc. Because they have access to all posts and threads in their area of responsibility, it's common for a friend of the site owner to be promoted to moderator for such a task. Common privileges of moderators include deleting, merging, moving, and splitting of posts and threads, locking, renaming, sticking of threads, banning, suspending, unsuspending, unbanning, warning the members, and so forth. Essentially, it's the duty of the moderator to manage the day-to-day -day affairs of a forum or board as it applies to the stream of users, contributions, and interactions. The relative effectiveness of this user management directly impacts the quality of a forum in general, its appeal, and its usefulness as a community of interrelated users. The administrators manage the technical details required for running the site. As such, they may promote and demote members to moderators, manage the rules, create sections and subsections, as well as perform any database operations. Administrators often also act as moderators. 
Administrators may also make forum-wide announcements or change the appearance, otherwise known as the skin, of a forum. A post is a user-submitted message enclosed into a block containing the user's details and the date and time it was submitted. Members are usually allowed to edit or delete their own posts. Posts are contained in threads where they appear as boxes one after the other. The first post starts the thread, and this may be called the TS, or Thread Starter, or OP, Original Post. Posts that follow in the thread are meant to continue discussions about that post, or respond to other replies. On Western forums, the classic way to show a member's own details, such as name and avatar, has been on the left-hand side of the post in a narrow column of fixed width, with the post controls located on the right at the bottom of the main body above the signature block. In more recent forum software implementations, the Asian style of displaying the member's details above the post has been copied. Posts have an internal limit usually measured in characters. Often, one is required to have a message of minimum length of 10 characters. There's also an upper limit, but it's rarely reached. Most boards have an either an upper limit of 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, or even 50,000 characters. Most forums keep track of a user's post count. The post count is a measurement of how many posts a certain user has made. Users with higher post counts are often considered more reputable than users with lower post counts. Some forums have disabled post counts in the hopes that doing so will reduce the emphasis on quantity over quality of information. A thread, sometimes called a topic, is a collection of posts usually displayed from oldest to latest. Although this is typically configurable, options for newest to oldest and for a threaded view or a tree-like view applying logical reply structure before chronological order can be available. A thread is defined by a title. An additional description may summarize the intended description and in opening or original post which opens whatever dialogue or makes whatever announcement the poster wishes. A thread can contain any number of posts, including multiple posts from the same members, even if they're one after the other. A thread is contained in a forum and may have an associated date, which is taken as the date of the last post. Options to order threads by order of criteria are generally available. When a member posts in a thread, it will jump to the top since it's the latest updated thread. Similarly, other threads will jump in front of it when they receive posts. When a member posts in a thread for no reason but to have it go to the top, it's referred to as a bump or bumping. Threads, which are important but rarely receive posts, are sticky or, in some software, pinned. A sticky thread will always appear in front of normal threads, often in its own section. A threaded discussion group is simply any group of individuals who use a forum or threaded or asynchronous discussion purposes. The group may or may not be the only users of the forum. A thread's popularity is measured on forums in reply counts. This is the total posts minus one, which is the opening post. Some forums also track page views. Threads meeting a set number of posts or a set number of views may receive a designation such as a hot thread and be displayed with a different icon compared to other threads. This icon may stand out more to emphasize the thread. 